Look, don't give me a hard luck story. I hear them every day, and quite frankly, they bore me. The facts are simple. In 1973, this bank gave you a loan, and you still haven't paid it back. Admittedly, you paid back the initial sum, but not the interest, which to date amounts to nine times the amount originally borrowed. Nine times. So you better get your act together. Times are tough, and we're all having to clamp down. And don't look at me like that. This is a bank, not a charity. Share prices continued to tumble. Lehman Brothers was forced to declare itself bankrupt. The largest single point drop. The regulators, they had the power to do every case that I made when I was state attorney general. They just didn't want to. We are watching this tsunami coming. They were having massive private gains at public loss. A financial engineer built dreams. When those dreams turn out to be nightmares, other people pay for it. Bear Stearns, Goldman Sachs, Lehman Brothers, they knew what was happening. What do you think about selling securities which your own people think are crap? Does that bother you as a hypothetical? No, this is real. What do you think of Wall Street incomes these days? Excessive. By 1986, he was making millions of dollars and thought it was because he was smart. Chuck Prince famously said, we have to dance until the music stops. Actually, the music had stopped already when he said that. At some point, I used the word Armageddon. These people are risk takers, they're impulsive. I see a lot of cocaine use, prostitution. So do these guys know that they were doing something dangerous? I think they did. Um, I don't hear confessions. What can we believe in? There's nothing we can trust anymore. We had a whole group of people looking at this for Excuse whatever reason. You can't be serious. If you would have looked, you would have found things. It's a Wall Street government. Why do you think there isn't a more systematic investigation being undertaken? Because then you'll find the culprits. I don't believe I have to discuss that with you. You come to us today telling us we're sorry, we won't do it again. Trust us. Well, I have some people in my constituency that actually robbed some of your banks. And they say the same thing. I never heard him mention those things. C could we turn this off for a second?